<laughs> I got some messages. You guys are already in here. Rhonda, what's going on? What's up? <laughs> Time's up, stranger. I apologize of a few minutes late. Um, I've been I've been working, man. I'm still working right now. I thought I had enough time to actually. Uh, I thought I was gonna have enough time to actually get my work done and come back on here. I was gonna shave up, clean up, but you guys know what it is. Raw, uncut footage is what it is so far. Uh, Sherry Morcha, hey, 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 how you doing? How you guys are doing? Tamika Davis, what's going on? <laughs> Marika Peacock, what's going on? No, I didn't fall asleep, Rhonda. I did not fall asleep. Today, 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 you guys, man, I got some special stuff. We're going to show you some special stuff we're going to talk about. We are going to do um, the card in the video. Um, King Oz Kennel, what's going on? Jeffrey Johnson, Chris Fairnot. Man, you guys are my boys. I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. Let's just get it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go check my mailbox right quick. Um, so we're going to go inside here and we're going to go and talk about a few stuff, man. Um, we're going to go over what this topic says about um, why did I stop um, YouTube for a while. Um, if you guys had noticed I stopped, then hey, it's nothing big to you, right? But a lot is going on, man. A lot, a lot of good stuff. Some stuff we're working through. And, um, but I'm not complaining though. It's all good stuff, man. It's not, it's not, and nothing dramatic. Um, hold on a second. Check my mail. Yes, nobody loves me then. Got no mail. Sometimes no mail is good mail, right? All right. So, I know you guys don't want to see me the whole entire time. We're going to go over the dogs, the puppies, the how to get the dogs, questions you guys may have for me. This is your time to ask the questions. Do not ask me about how much a puppy costs. Don't ask me about my waiting list. And do not ask me about um, the, I don't know, what's the main thing y'all use to ask every single time about? that says it every video so before you ask the video if you've questioned me if you already messaged me and asked me about how much a puppy is delete the question okay all right i'm just gonna ignore it um let's go outside because you guys can see been working on my car. That car is now officially off the lift. You see that? Go to, um, see that? But yeah, no shave November. So I'm, I'm getting a jump start. <laughs> so now I'm really working on this as well too. That's been my clearing mind stage. If you guys know about me, you know about the Rides and Rides. You guys also know that um, I'm letting the air out because I actually washed the car today and I got water in the car like an idiot. Like idiot um but i'm letting you get air out of here right now this car i got the video i'm gonna post it on here like i said before i'm, I'm not sure if i should just go straight to rides and rides or i should do my rides and rides on this channel as well let me know what you guys think should i just do separate just the cars and we got a nice video with that with my brother um him my niece we were on a four-wheeler we ran from the cops we did well you'll see <laughs> you guys are gonna see that video man um, but no, that video there with the cars getting done, you guys gonna see. All right. Um, and as you can see, been cleaning up in here. Got some dog food. I did a video that will post tomorrow, so you guys gonna see a lot of good stuff on that video as well. Um, let me show you. We are back in the water. We got some. We got some dolls you guys haven't seen yet, so I'm gonna show you guys. Look how big these paw prints are, man. Y'all see these big old paw prints? I'm gonna try to slow this camera down because sometimes I'm just going fast and you guys forgetting that I want nobody to get sick. Got some fresh water going from my board. Move it. Sting loves to move it. Sting loves to. See my little water construction I got? Look at that. Bam! That's what I do with my dogs, man. Make it easy. 
before I used to have the I used to have the uh, water hose and fill each one up one by one. Well, first, yeah, I used to start off with the water hose and then I started off with the, uh, hey, 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 hey. I'm on live, all right? Tank, tank, shut up. There's always gonna be another one. <laughs> so I used to start with the water hose and then I had a PVC pipe that I used to run from here and run along the back ways. And then when the freeze happened, it kept breaking every winter because the water being the lines. Even sometimes I'll try to drain the water out and then it freezes and then I can't use it. So I went with PEX line that goes inside the building. That goes inside the building. You see my little PEX line? PEX line is better because when the winter time happens, it expands. It expands with the ice and all that kind of stuff or whatever the case is like that. Um, the video I have coming up tomorrow, you guys, when you watch the video tomorrow, I'm going through the entire kennel so you guys can see all of the dogs. You guys can see everybody um, as well like that. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, show you guys the two newest little members of my family. Two little boogers over here. This little girl. My little boy. Um see the little puppies there all right let me answer some of you guys questions right quick man and then we're going to get into the nitty-gritty sit down and and get to all these questions we have i know we got a bunch of questions and all that kind of stuff here as well so and then the cows are doing good too as you can see the cows hold on <laughs> bothering the dogs still trying to come in here i bet they might come in here if i open this up let me see They might try to come in here. Let's see. All right. All right. Let me sit down. I'm just, no, I'm sitting on the back of my truck. Sit on the back of my truck. On oh, my tractor. Okay. Here we go, you guys. Let's get some questions answered. Let's get some. See these little jokes trying to be slick. Before we get there, I just want to show you guys one of the slickest thing they do is that one right there. That one there. So we just had a baby, you guys. Well, she's the mama dog, mama cow. <laughs> she just had a calf, and the other one right here coming up there. She's a mama calf. She's about to be. So they're gonna try to be slick. All they're doing is, all they're gonna do is keep um, moving so loud. If it gets annoying, you guys let me know. If this all this moving and stuff is too loud. I'll go inside. All right. So here we go. Let's see. Uh, Black crow up the cage. Open wings. Hey, I like how you just hung the phone up with me too when you called me the other day, man. You know, I clicked over, talked to my mom, and you just hung up. Thomas Horn, what's going on, big money? Welcome back. You have been missed. I appreciate that, Black Ochre 772. I definitely appreciate it. Um, let you guys know exactly. Uh, I'm going to explain to you guys in a second about what's, why I was gone exactly. Bruh, I don't have any more food. Y'all see this? This is this is why. This is why. No, don't stop now. <laughs> Shit said McDonald's and put some steaks on the group. Let me stop playing. <laughs> All right. So let me watch some of you, answer some of your questions. Watching from KC. Love your videos. Appreciate it, man. How much for your uh, whatever? Uh, nice to see you. You must be very busy. Been very busy, been very, very busy. And I'm explaining to you guys exactly what I've been doing. What's going on, Tony? Always good to see you. Eric, what's going on, big money? Lee, big Lee. What up? Kaneko is out like a light. <laughs> She's running around. Lee got a dog for me as well, too. Kaneko is the puppy he got for me. Um, I'll show you some update pictures. That dog has came a long way. I'm very proud of him, man. Lee's doing a very good job with that dog. Good to see you back with another good video. My, I appreciate it, Lorock 186. Uh, getting a jump start over No Shave November. Yeah, I am definitely doing that. Need to 
I started to not shave at all, but this is how long is the waiting list? Uh, love old school cars. Watching you from Indianapolis. Great to see you back. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, Y'all want to see Tank. Greetings from Jonesboro, Georgia. How's Tank doing? Pittsburgh. I'm hearing the cows. Do you have horses? Watching you from Africa. Africa? Let's get it. Oh, where are you guys watching me from, man? Let's, I want to see where everybody's watching me from. I want to know New Orleans in the house. Uh, what's happening? Them cows said tighten up. They did. <laughs> they are saying they're going to tighten up on that grill to keep messing with me. What to do, Tony? I'm putting it down. Pim on a puppy soon. Uh, whatever. Open. <laughs> Love the cows. Sunny Florida. Start interested in putting down a payment real soon. You guys, listen. I'm going to be honest with you. I appreciate you guys putting deposits down and everything else. But... Y'all don't have to tell me. Just do it when you're ready. I mean, honestly, whenever you're ready, um, there's no rush. There's no pressure. Don't anyone to ever buy a dog from me. There's never a pressure to buy a dog from me. Um, hold on a second. Got to clean this lens off a little bit right quick. Hold on. All right. So there's never a pressure to buy a dog from me. Um, bro, get up my face, man. <clears throat> I bold. It's move, 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 move. Yeah, done. Ribeye. It's a little ribeye right there. Charlie. 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 Come here, Charlie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go inside. That cow's moving too much for me, man. All right. Um, all the from New Orleans. I want a puppy, but I'm going to keep watching to make sure I can handle it. Enjoy the videos. Guess the mailman still can't find my correct box. I still don't have my shirt. <laughs> oh, I, I, didn't, I, I just read the comment first, and then I looked up to see who it was. I should have known it was nobody different than that boy. Dallas, Chicago, watching. Connecticut, I'm watching from Braywine, Maryland, the UK. Bro. All right, I'm gonna get to the questions in a second. All right, I got you guys. I promise you. So let's sit down. Let's have a real good talk and let's get down to business. We're gonna go over how to get a dog from me. What's been going on with me? The whole nine yards. I have a, I have a list. So we gonna stay on subject. Um, you guys, uh, all that kind of good stuff, right? I'm gonna go in my office, see my office. Gotta take my shoes off. Gotta keep it clean. All right, don't judge my office. Don't be judging my office because I wasn't prepared to bring y'all in my office, all right? So, see what I be doing? I'm gonna show you now, honestly, I wasn't even looking at anything. See what I'm doing with AKCs and all that kind of stuff? It never stops. It never stops. I'm trying to find us. Give me a stand for you guys right quick. Um, there we go. Bet you guys stand. All right, give me a second. Put this right here right quick. Don't be judging me. Don't be judging me in my little stand right now. It's not the stand. I'm fixing the stand for you guys. videos don't be preset and all this stuff I think about you guys and and then I just know I need to make a video for you guys is that good can you guys see me Bam. Right. got paper to do all right so it's hot Guys don't be talking about me either. I know you guys in these comments talking about me. All right, so first thing first. All right, so 
let's get right down to the subject, man. First of all, if you guys have not done so yet, please, please, please hit that notification bell, hit the notification, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys for subscribing, man. I want to get that out. I want to get a placard. I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to keep it 100% real on the live. I want a 100K placard to put on my wall, all right? I'm not going to try to do this. If we get 100K, I'm going to give away a... No, I'm not doing it, but I really would love to get a 100K placard. But um, it really means a lot. You know, I might do one just because, you know, who knows? But that won't be the reason. I just want to do it. Because, but I really want to earn it. So I appreciate you guys. If you like the video and you like what you see so far, hit the subscribe. It doesn't cost anything or anything at all. Just support your boy. When you support me, I support back. That's why I've been able to stop selling the shirts and I'm giving all of my shirts away to people who support me. So when you support me, I support back by giving away free shirts um, and stuff as well. Um, I'm going to be giving away my belt as well. I'm gonna do a belt to a special, special person that buys a dog from me um, or have already bought a dog from me. Um, I think I'm gonna do a VIP buyer, like somebody that's been really a good vibe I get, man. You know what I mean? So we could do that as well. Um, I'm gonna go to. A, I'm gonna write a list down of some things I want to talk about, so I don't. Y'all know my ADHD be all over the place. I talk about dogs, cats, cows, puppies, how to buy them, and everything else. Um, uh, all right. So some of the things I have first is how to ask for a puppy. All right. So first thing is. Do not come in my inbox. Do not come in my inbox and just say how much. That is the most ignorant comment I think someone can make trying to get a dog. I'm a business. I'm an LLC too. See that? I'm a business, just like any other business. See all those? Well, those are made the front page and everything else. But anyway, I'll stay on point. Um, if you guys want to buy a dog from me, just don't ask me. Just don't text how much. Like, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm interested in the dog. I want to know your prices. Feel free to call me. Feel free to message me and all that kind of stuff. All right. Um, but just texting me how much. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to stop even responding to those kind of comments because most people who just text me how much aren't even that serious. They just see a quick dog and they want to see how much. And you know already I don't discuss prices in my inbox. So, I mean, on my timeline. If you want to know about prices or whatever, you inbox me and I will be more than happy to discuss anything with you guys as much as possible for you guys. Um, my hours of operations are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, I'm in Texas, so like right now it is 7.24 p.m. Um, my hours are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you live in California and the hours are different, that's fine, but we all are grown adults to understand that um, uh, the time zones or whatever. And I get some people may get off by a little bit or whatever, and I understand it. But let's try to respect the fact that my hours are. You guys know for sure too as well, when you're off from your job, you don't want to keep being bothered by somebody else all day long. So you don't want your boss calling you on a Saturday at 2 o'clock and you're off Monday through Friday. And you work Monday through Friday and your boss calling you. You're going to be like, what do you want? Same way how I feel. Um, but just keeping it real with everybody, man. Just asking everybody to please respect that time that I have. If you don't respect that time, then go someplace else. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, and then in inclusion with that, some people are calling me and saying, oh, I just called to leave you a message so you can get back with me the next day. I'm not going to respond to your messages. If you text me or call me after my hours, I'm not going to respond back. And that also goes for people on my list. Some people feel like because they're on my list, they can call me on a Sunday. I am off. I want to be off. I don't want to talk to anybody on a Sunday. I don't. I don't. I get one day off. One day, which is going to turn to two days, which is going to be Sunday and Monday. I'm going to start taking off. But right now, I'm off on Sundays. And um, I just want one day off, man. I don't, I mean, I, like, I love you guys. And I, I rock with you boys and girls, man, and guys and gals and stuff this year. But... I have a family too. I want to spend time with my kids. My kids want daddy time and don't want to be with daddy. And then you guys hear me sometimes because I'm a father first. I promise you. I, I get with all these dogs before my kids. So you hear my kids. My kids is everything to me. My family is everything. But I'm grateful for you guys for supporting your boy and getting your boy to where we are at today. 
freaking air compressor come oh. home. I don't know if it picked up the air compressor noise or not. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm a family I'm a family guy first, man. I'm a father first before anything else. And uh, if you call me and my son is there, I'm not gonna tell my son to be quiet. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm re very business oriented, but my kids come first, man. I, I, I love them to death. So, uh, but yeah, let's, let's just kind of keep the, the, uh, the certain phone calls times. And what I mean is that I give my time to you guys as much as possible. Um, six days a week, you know, it's a lot of hours. Six days a week, a lot of time. Um, I am now officially, now you guys is on my list. You guys know my list. You guys know I have a waiting list and I'm grateful for it. And I don't take that for granted. Let me just say right now, I'm appreciative of it. I don't know any breed in the world that has a list like mine for the time frame of mine. And you guys supporting the channel and supporting my business and everything else so i will say for those that are wanting to call and check to see where they are at on the list um uh, i used to do that monday sunday I mean monday through saturday every day you want but because now we have so many people um so many people on the list and trying to get everybody orchestrated i'm going to do monday and tuesdays are the days anybody want to call and check on their numbers uh, right now, it's not only, but I'm trying to gear it to if you have a question about your time on your list or whatever, where you're at, your spot, feel free to call or message me anytime Monday, through Monday and Tuesdays. It's going to be dedicated to those times because a lot of times I'm working and people are calling me like, hey, where am I on the list? Um, I'm driving and I get back to them. This way, Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to try to focus more on being here by the computer and getting everybody's spots or where they are at, okay? Um, and rolling with that is, um, you guys, if you guys, if you guys don't see me posting puppies or nothing else or whatever, trust me, I don't have any puppies. I'm not hiding puppies. I'm not doing anything like that. But I'm going to start posting more puppies of the picture, more pictures and videos of the puppies as we have them, so you guys can be in tune. The reason why before I didn't post a lot of videos of puppies when they were born because I'm, I was trying to do the opposite. I didn't want people to come and buy a dog from me just because they got excited about seeing puppies. That's not me. I'm not in the game to try to just sell as much puppies to you guys and fake you guys or whatever. My job is to let you guys see the progress of the puppies. That's why if you watch my older videos, it was a bunch of smaller puppies and they're being born. I watched the puppy. You guys watch a lot of the puppies being born. And I think I was trying to, I was trying to not I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be like a fake image for you guys, like seeing puppy, puppy, puppies, and people like, hey, I wanna buy a dog. But I think I need to go back to that because I want you guys to understand people on my list to see where we're at. We're having puppies, we're having litters, so that way you get an idea of it as well too. All right, if that makes sense. If you guys got questions about that, I'm not sure. Um, uh, Um, do I think Texas will freeze again? I hope not. I really don't hope not. Um, someone asked me, how do you expect to get to 100K? By being me. I mean, um, I feel like I am the vibe, so it's me. Doing what I've been doing, if I don't get to 100, if I don't get to 100, 100, 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, then that's fine. I'm happy with where I'm at. I am far beyond where I ever imagined I would be you know honestly um, when I first started YouTube it was a dream to get a thousand and seeing ten thousand you know and twenty thousand and thirty thousand and forty thousand and fifty thousand so do I think we can do it absolutely and I say we because we all have to do it you guys tell me what you guys want to see more of and I'll try to capture it on camera for you guys you know what I mean I'm trying to break away from just the same thing people see over and over again um, it's just been the weather conditions it's been me you guys see now that i'm doing more um i'm trying to trying to get to what you guys want to see more of as well too all right i feel you on your time and standards paula i appreciate that thanks for understanding that um got the da, 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 da. i'm listening uh bye bye Yeah, 
You don't get, you don't answer questions, bro. I got at you several times. <laughs> you know, I was watching something on YouTube. I was watching a YouTube video in the room and I saw somebody respond to a comment. And I was like, why did he respond to the comment? Nobody wanna see, it just takes away from the video. But then I understand why too as well. Um, See how you just wrote that comment just now? You don't get it? You could have you could have just wrote your comment. But people say things and it's like, I guess to get an attention. I don't know. Because everybody, if you got at me several times, I swear you never called me. Or if you called me, or you text me, or something else, I never got back with you. That's impossible. Because I text and call back to everybody. It may not be the same day or whatever, but I get back with everybody, every single body. So if you call me several times, or you talking about writing a message on my live, which I'm focusing on other things right now, but anyway, um, I can't call. I can't call because you always hang up on me. Whatever you. <laughs> oh man, word of mouth and shares will get the hundred thousand. Absolutely. I, I mean, like I said, I wish you wish everybody could get there, man. Let's let's everybody get there all the time. I, um, da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. But um, but anyway, let's get to the other points of what we get into as well. Um, so my checklist will be Mondays and Tuesdays. Hopefully for you guys, that's on my list already. Um, but I'm not saying that's only. It's just dedicated to those days. So if you do call me right now, outside of those days, you still can. Um, and then I'll slowly get it to where Mondays and Tuesdays. I'm not going to just chop and say Mondays and Tuesdays only because I know everybody got work schedules and all that kind of stuff. I want to be available to everybody all the time. Um, consultations. I do, I do offer consults to everybody, okay? Listen, it's $100 for up to 30 minutes. If you feel that $100 is not worth it to you, it is not worth the knowledge you're going to get. Just ask anybody who's bought it. Anybody who's purchased it, um, have done a consult, every single person, I swear, before they have hung up, and I'm alive, so you can see it. If not, if I'm lying, write it in the comment below. But every single person who's ever done a consult with me, before they hung up, I've said, thank you so much. I've gotten more knowledge and more information and money's worth than $100 that you've given me. So, it's, I've got people who try to call me and like, instead of just paying $100, I got people who would try to message me and some people call me and says, hey, I got a question about trying to have this, I got a litter right now, I got a question, can you help me with this? And I'm like, it's $100, like, you gotta understand, my time, it, it's 17 years of, this is a big old head, but 17 years of stress and time and effort to get into where I'm at right now. So this is why I offer that to people I want to see you do good. I want to see people. I want to see people be blessed and, and get to that point. That's me. I love it. That's what I do, man. I want to see people succeed and, and be good. So it's why I offer the hundred dollars con consult fee. But if you think a hundred dollars too much, then man, Google whatever information you're looking for, and hopefully you get what you're looking for. But um, or if you're smart, you could just go through my videos. If you have questions, those videos are pretty much questions I've answered already but to be precise about a particular dog or your dog in particular I would like to do a one-on-one -on -one session with you if, if that's what you want as well um, people calling me also I do not take phone calls from kids okay if you're under the age of 18 do not call me it's not cute I don't need to talk to your 12 year old asking me about a dog um, you know your little six month old God dying on the phone. I don't, like, trust me, I love kids. I'm the, probably the most guy that love kids and everything else, but I am a businessman. You calling me? Let's talk about the business side of it. I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to rush anybody into buying a dog when you're calling me. It's that most likely when you're calling me, I'm working. So if I'm working, you, typically I'm going to tell you how it goes. Ring, Butler Kennel Rock Wallace, how can I help you? Either two things. You got a dog? <laughs> What's the price of your dog? Like, okay. Then you got the people who are like, yeah, man, I had a dog, man, and I just lost my dog, man. I had my dog for 14 years, and I'm looking for that big German Rockwaller, man, and my cousin had one, and man, and I want one that's gonna be about 400 pounds, man, and this and that, and, and all this kind of stuff here. 
And man, I watch all your videos, man. And um, you got any dogs available right now, man? And and then you, you're like, dang, I ain't get a chance to answer anything, man. So give me time to get to the point first. Which I'm gonna do is I may ask you three questions. You know, um, those three questions may include what is your what are you looking for, male or female? Second question I'm gonna ask you is what is your time frame of your trying to get a puppy? Um, and three is going to be what is your budget, right? So those three things before you call me, I would like for you to call your significant other or whatever. It's not, my prices are still, still the same. I swear to God, if anybody says my price changes because of them, I will give you a free puppy, okay? I swear to God, I will give you. My puppy doesn't change, I don't care. People who bought dogs from me knows. Um, we're live, so you message me now. There's people who told me my budget is $20,000, $10,000, and I mean, you're talking about Celebrities and all those kind of I don't care if you're a celebrity or not. My prices are what it is. I don't care if you make a billion dollars. Congratulations. Keep your billion dollars. But my prices are my prices. The reason why I do that is because there's different tiers. And I just don't, and I hate, that's why the reason why I can't just tell somebody how much, like, for what? What exactly are you looking for? Um, I don't sell. Someone asked me, like, oh, I see other kennels and, like, don't. Don't call me comparing the other kennels. I'm gonna be honest with you. I get it. Like I understand it, but I hate hearing about other kennels when people are calling me. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's about me. I'm not gonna bash any other kennels. I'm not gonna talk bad about them. I don't care about them. Don't bring up another kennel to me because we're not gonna have a conversation about another kennel. I don't care if I don't even like that kennel, you know, because it doesn't really bother me. I'm about positivity, man. If you're not, if you if, don't call me about some other kennels. They talk gossip. I don't gossip about the kiddos. I promise you, you're not gonna get that out of me. I don't care. But um, if you're wanting to go over certain things or whatever the case is, like I said, we can go over those things. And if it's about my dogs, um, you know, we can we can do that as well. Um, and I have no problem helping you guys out and getting to that point. Um, I just I just really want. Um, a easy flow conversation man um i'm very busy man i don't want to waste anybody's time um i'm not trying to force people into anything i'm not trying to um you know pretend that's why anytime you see my videos i tell anybody my dogs are sold out before they're born my dogs are sold out before they're bred my dogs are sold out before that be it, it, it's a waiting list okay so but different tiers, different time frames, and all that kind of stuff. When you call, we'll go over that kind of stuff for you. But just don't call and ask me, hey, what's your waiting time? Tell me about what you're looking for first. Those three things, get in mind, idea. Um, have a budget in mind about what you want to spend. You should do that with anybody, okay? Uh, if you're calling any breeder, I mean, some people may feel like, I don't want to tell my breeder, and that's maybe fine. Um, if you're like, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to discuss prices i just want to know your budget i get it because some breeders out there may try to they're selling the dogs for 1500 and you come out there with and you say hey yeah my budget is six thousand and they're like oh yeah my dog is 5500 and six thousand all of a sudden you know what i mean i get it and i understand from your side of view some of you guys buying dogs you may not want to discuss that first and like i said i don't force anyone to do it but it just helps me to get you to a certain level of dogs and if you want me just to lay my prices out i'll do that for you guys when you call um I love to be shit keep going down so um, I love to be very open with you guys. You guys are very open with me. Um, man, we can like once we get done with the initial conversation, man, you guys know some of you guys call me, y'all be tapping me too, because we be on the phone for like a long time talking and just the mood is mood is just right, man. The vibe is kicking, man, you know what I mean? Cool, cool gals and girls and guys out there, man. Y'all guys are cool as crap, man. I mean, different walks of life, different people. Um, just, I love you guys, man, and I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for rocking with your boy. Um, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not this guy you can't talk to. I'm not a guy. I love it when you guys call me and be like, "Hey, man, I feel like I know you, man. You know what's up, Tony? I like those vibes, man. You call me, call me with some energy. I love it. I swear. If you call me dead, hello, yeah, I'm gonna give you back that same thing. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you call me, what up, Tony? You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? What's going on? That vibe kicks off, right? You know what I mean? So we're going to get that for you guys as well. Um, I'm trying to go on my 
live video so I can see my comments with you guys. I don't even know how to get to my video. Oh, there it is. If you've got a military first responder, Disconnected. Yeah, disconnect. I'm trying to get me banned from playing music and stuff. God damn it. All right. There we go. All right. Get some of you guys' questions answered in between. And then the next day, we're going to go to what really took me away from YouTube for a second as well. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Do you train your dogs at all? Yes, my dogs are trained. If you came here, you see people picking up. I want you guys to please. I know some people may seem like it's not that fun to watch interviews, but my interviews are the most upfront answers you can get from clients in the world. If you watch my videos, my videos are uncut, they're raw. People can say what they want to say. The deal is already done. They can badmouth me. They can talk crap about me, whatever they want. Every video will get posted. I don't care. If you said something negative about me, I'm going to post it. Because I want you guys to see the God's honest truth about what it is. All right? Um, da -da 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 -da. You need a sec I do need a secretary. Anybody want to be my secretary? Who want to be my secretary? I need a secretary. If you want to be my secretary, I need a secretary, man. Um, Tony Palmer, what's up, big money? I'm gonna give people shout outs, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some shout outs, man. We got, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a personal shout out right quick. Every video I'm gonna do from my live videos, I'm gonna do a quick, my top ranking people that always in, I see all the time commenting that I appreciate. Like Jill Sell, Jill. My my falcon, my, my fellow falcon sister. You know what I mean. Jill is still waiting for her dog, and Jill got a dog coming up. Jill has sent me nothing but so much falcon stuff. I got falcons pencils, falcon hat, falcon book bags, all that kind of good stuff. Jill, I want to tell you up front, I appreciate it. Now, you guys, um, if you want to, you can send me some falcon stuff. You know, size three, seven and three quarters. I got a big head. Hats is my thing. I'm a big hat person. So if you guys want to send me some hats, send your boy some hats, man. I'm telling you, I don't care what color, what style. I will rock everyone and give everybody a shout out with those hats. I'm telling you, I am a, I'm a, I'm a fitted cap person all day long. All right, all day long. I promise you. Um. Eric0049 Man, always, always in the building Always appreciate and love, support When you do get it um, I would say Spice But you know, he's always He always hanging the phone up on me So I can't really give him a shout out right now When he gets back And he can do that for you guys So um, Thomas Hearn is on the list Arkansas, I know he's waiting to get his dog. I know Thomas been Thomas. I got a lot of people calling me about you <laughs> before. <laughs> hey, this guy is calling me about a dog from you, Tony. What should I tell him, man? I'm like, tell him the truth, man. <laughs> so, but Thomas has done his research, man. He's been calling people, asking around in the past, um, which is cool. People just let you know. People have always kind of came back and like, hey, man, who this guy is? I was like, no, he's on the list. He just want to do some research and figure out how you guys were, but. Um, but yeah, that's also a good thing. Chris Fair, not big shout out to you guys as well too, man. Definitely appreciate you. Always in the live, always in the support. All in green, I would say support for you, bro. But you, you back in shady. You don't want to bring your dog down so I can see the dog. All this kind of stuff here. But it's all good though. You know, he got a big dog for me now. He got his big dog, and now he want to act brand new. He don't, he don't show us love no more. You know what I mean? Um. Uh. Okay, so sunny Orlando, Florida. All right, so let's get right to this right quick, all right? So the biggest subject about why I have been gone for a little bit and, you know, not really posting as much. I've been still, I've been making videos. I just haven't been posting and it takes a lot of time out. Um, 
uh, the first thing is uh, mental stress is something that's really real, okay? Um, and for me, I didn't reach that point of top mental stress where everything else to that, but I recognize the signs where I knew I need to take a break and take a step back. Sometimes when people don't understand when you're in a line of life and you have, and I'm small time, let me tell you that, I'm small time, but with all the work that's going on in a mental standpoint and trying to get everybody, like I'm not one of those breeders who just want to collect your money, don't care about you guys and nothing else. Because I care about every single person that supports me and riding with me and invest with me and everything else, I do take everything personal with people on my list. People outside, I would never allow that to stress me out. So don't think that my head is down or any kind of thing like that. Um, it's been to the point where I want to make sure that I'm getting people their dogs in time. Um, I'm trying to focus on getting everybody right, my brand name, because I want I want you to have a positive experience and sometimes that weighs on me um, that making sure what could I have done differently the last litter um, that I need to do differently for the next litter and the next client um, I'll be very honest and upfront with you guys I keep it 100% real with you guys man um, there was a time when you know my last few litters have been kind of not like how I wanted to go you know for me it's been like they're happy with it but I knew I could have given could have given more like I'm not satisfied with what I did um, I want to give out more videos I want to give out more you know things going on but because of so much going on I wasn't able to give out as much videos of the puppies while they were waiting for their dogs you know what I mean so when they got their dog they were so shocked and happy like oh my god why are you hiding this big bear from me and it wasn't that I was hiding it from them it was just that I had so much going on and this and that and family and all that kind of stuff going on that um you know it's been a lot and i do have a one-year-old okay so i got a one-year-old <laughs> i have a one-year-old all right so um but definitely definitely it's a lot and fatherhood takes priority and um the business is not going nowhere. The business is not in jeopardy for anybody wondering like, oh, what is this? We got backups. We got stuff that's situated in place. If something would happen to me day tomorrow, you guys are safe. You guys are good. Um, so you never have to worry about that. But I'm not going anywhere. The business is not going anywhere. We have a whole system in place for everything. And I think a lot of times people understand that. So, but for me, it was just a personal thing for me to make sure that I'm able to give you guys the best. The second part of that is, um, so I never reached that point of stressing out. So I took a quick break and you gotta gather yourself and be better so that way you guys call. Um, you know, I'm a human, man. I'm dealing with, you know, I've dealt with the loss of a dog. You know what I mean? Um, nobody knows which dog it is. Don't worry about it. Don't ask me which dog, what happened to it and nothing else. Do not do that. I'll do it in my own time. And no, Hulk did not die, okay? Shucks, I know somebody's gonna ask that question. but. Um, dealing with losses, man, and just dealing with certain personal things and taking a time for myself, man, it, it was a lot to deal with as well, too. Each one of my dogs are something very, very personal. Like, it's personal to me, man. So, um, I don't show it because people have called me on the day of my dog passing away and I had to deal with that. And I never tried to put my woes onto somebody else because of what was going on personally with me. But I tried my best to be upfront honest with you guys and ask any questions but I'm still human like anybody else all right um another thing is it's freaking hot in Texas today was the first day it rained in over two months a month and a half two I don't know it's been a hundred plus degrees every single day like I mean it was so crazy out of the DMV today and it started to drizzle and people went outside and started taking pictures. That's how in Texas rain was in my area that it was. It was so hot. You guys saw my other video where I put it in. Please put your dogs inside because it's so hot, man. Um, in the cool AC, uh, it's just one of those things as well. Um, making sure that your dogs can be in there. Let's see some of you guys got some stuff out there. 
All right, I'm answering your questions. I'm gonna get back to some of the other reasons why I was away from um, YouTube for a second. Hello from Canada. I'm a Rottweiler lover. I have two boys and a girl. I have three dogs in Canada right now. So I'll get you. Let's make it four. I'm ready for another dog to go to Canada. I shared it on my Facebook account. Let's get the 100K. I will watch the interviews and enjoy them. Black. Oh, I wish I could do. Let me see if I could do something special. Pin. I just pinned your message, Black Oak Tree. You know what? Everybody, please go share. That's how we get there. Share this video on your Facebook account. Hit the share button. Share it to your page. Let everybody see it. People joining, man. I'm watching that. That, that right there is special for me. I appreciate that very, very much, man. Um, uh, he says, please don't go too hard on yourself. Congratulations on your one year old. So much fun with little ones. Grateful you took time for your mental health. That's wisdom. Absolutely. I'm not waiting until things happen to get to that point of the no return. I'm never going to get to that point. Um, you know, I've been deployed four times overseas, um, you know, military, and then I did some contracting work for about four or five years and all this kind of stuff. So I've seen a lot. But people deal with a lot of stuff even here in the States, man. It's just how you handle it. And I think um, the way I'm handling it or trying to handle it is not letting people scratch you out to the point where you go over the top. I'm, man, no one's too big to ask for help. So if anybody's going through anything, watching this video, um, you know, my, my videos aren't just about dogs. And I hope people get that. My dogs, my videos are about you as an individual that's watching my video. I hope that anybody that's going through any kind of mental illness or need a break or just going through something in their life they need help with or need someone to talk to, feel free and call as well. Um, People are going through a lot of stuff, man. And I mean, we're we're really going through a lot. So we can't take this thing called life for granted. And I know I'm gonna get off something for a second, but it's very important to understand. For instance, um, I asked if it was okay to talk about it. He said, okay. Um, I really didn't talk about it, but for instance, like there's, so many of you guys that started off as clients that I see as brothers and sisters to me now, man. And, um, you know, I talked with one person yesterday that lost a son to cancer. We didn't talk about sharing it enough. I won't say his name or anything else, but I can hear in the voice, man, and just communicating, not about dogs, not about money, not about anything else, but just talking to someone. And he just said, like, man, I appreciate you truly reaching out and just talking about it you know like willing to let me be vulnerable to open up to you it's it's i'm here like anybody out there that's going through something man and you just really having that kind of day you talking down and you need somebody to really talk to bro i am genuinely here like i'm not just saying it to get like attention or anything else i truly mean that like i'll never discuss somebody personal information um that don't want it to be shared or whatever um but like some things hit so hard to me in realization that if you guys watch my video, uh, there was a young lady that came out and surprised her husband. Now, her husband um, been following my page for a while. So when she reached out to me, she says, Tony, I don't want to tell my husband what I'm going to do for him. Um, I always saw him commenting on my page, my Facebook and everything else. And it's always been on, and I, always commenting. And every time I saw it, it was so funny because I just knew he was getting a dog, but he didn't know about it. And the support he gave was so beautiful. Um, even not knowing he's getting a dog or whatever, but he's always been showing support even before she reached out. So, if you go fast forward, 
the time came for her to get her dog. She's always been called. I told her the dog coming. Is the dog ready? Is the dog ready? Her excitement was so more excitement about for the love for her husband that than she had for herself that she orchestrated. I was like, hey, just surprise your husband and bring your husband. And she was like, he's not gonna go for it. He's not gonna know about it. So she made a plan and she did a plan and she says, hey, what I'm gonna do is, she told her husband that she had to go to, um, had to go somewhere to pick up a dog from somebody else, like one of the family members' dog, because they do it sometimes to watch them while they go out of state or whatever. And when she reached down, um, even though I was closed on a Sunday, she came, I think it was a Sunday. Uh, she came in on a Sunday. And uh, it was just sort of such a beautiful thing, man, that even on my day off, I was like, we're not gonna mess this up. We're gonna make this happen because of the love and support they had. So she came in, she got the, um, she came in, got the dog. And when she called him, she, uh, when she called, when she called him in the video, he didn't know. But she, then he saw my face in the live video. Um, when she, she FaceTimed him. And he was like, what are you doing there? What, what the, and he saw the dog. So if you guys see the video, um, we went live. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, there's a video, the only video I ever went live on, ever. If you watch that video, you'll see my video there. Um, we did a live interview in that video. A week later, she passed away. Um, and you know, it's, it, it just hit me so hard because of the bond that we had and you know, just meeting people. And you meet so many different people throughout life and you understand this thing called life is sure as there's life there is death but in death there's so much grief and so much things people go through and the loved ones we leave behind so um you know that to me it it still weighs on me and we still talk all the time now man and this happened um you know you guys have a live video or whatever but um he will be having a memorial. I told him I'm gonna post about it and let people see it, man, because it was such an awesome, awesome um, experience that I had, man, with her, her vibe, her love is just, I felt like we've been knowing each other for years. And, you know, with that being said and done, um, it's, it's a lot that people are still going through, whether or not, you know, loved ones, people are dealing with the loss. You're never alone when you deal with losses. Um, you know, you may feel like you're alone, but you're not. So anybody out there that's dealing with some stuff, man, feel free. Let me know. Hit me up. We can chat, talk, you know, um, all that kind of stuff and go from there. All right. So sorry to put y'all down with that, but just saying like in general about life and how much it is. So um, let me see here. I have to do my live chat. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa, man, you guys been pitting in a lot there. Okay. Uh, you mean the buyer has the opportunity to see their prospective Roddy born in age on video before picking them up? Um, absolutely. Um, you have the opportunity to see your dog being born if I get the chance to see it because a lot of times it depends on the situation of the puppies being born. Some mothers require my full attention. I don't have time to set a camera up or whatever. Some mothers are very, the question she was asking me was back in reference to um, when you're getting a puppy from me, what would you, how does, how would the steps go? Basically, uh, you're gonna be on the list and you'll get a potential chance to probably see the puppies being born on my live or a video posted of it, but then as the puppies get older, we'll get personal pictures and videos of the dolls as well, too, um, as well. But yes, uh, somebody said you gotta, oh, Tony said you gotta fall back in order to keep the sanity. Yes, uh, and I have done that, man, and I, I'm, I'm definitely keeping that sanity in, in, in check and definitely having fun with it, man. Because like I said before, don't get me wrong, I love what I do. Like when I say I love, man, I, just, I want everybody to experience the love that do so Why is somebody at my door, ringing my door?
Oh, somebody ordered food. <laughs> um, hold on a second. Let me see what this is here. I'm gonna. People pop up my house. I don't really do that too well. Still me, like. Uh. Yo. Huh? Oh, oh. And you parked in my grass? You parked in my grass? No, it's okay. You need some gas? I got some gas, I think. I got some gas. Got, we're going right now. But you got I'm gas jugs? No, we're yes, going in your yard just to... No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, right? everybody's watching y'all right now. No, I'm messing you. But no, you're good. You're good. Um, If you need gas, like I said, do you have enough gas can? Do you have a gas can? Yes, sir. Gas can. We're going to the, to the gas station Go ahead. now. You're good. As long as you know it. Hey, whatever's in my yard is mine to have. I'm just saying. Hey, I'm just saying. There, there might be some free wheels for me or something. <laughs> You guys are good. <laughs> they left their um car in the yard that ran out of gas. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. You guys know how it is, man. Things happen. We're gonna get the whole real deal on some stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's been, the heat has been one of the things, the temperature, the getting away from everything, like I was telling you before, I love what I do and I love it, love it, love it. I wish everybody could experience the love of doing something they love to do. Just take it in moderation. Um, sometimes it's, with me, it's just me getting overwhelmed about trying to make sure everybody's happy. That's the biggest thing. It's nothing to do with the dogs and stress. I work out every day. Like I'm a workaholic. Like I'll work till four o'clock in the morning. You guys see, I'm up. I'm I'm working. But it's just my more of my mental state of making sure that everybody gets to that point of being happy. It's my biggest downfall, should I say? Thank God for the rain. Needs more. We do need some more rain. Um, Lord, today was the first day for that rain. It felt so good. Yes, yeah, it's very PTSD trying to get it and keep it under control. Definitely, definitely, man. It's not. Trust me. You guys, you can't ever take it away. It's all about how you deal with PTSD and stress and everything else, you guys. Um, <laughs> hey, Ruiz Royal Rottweiler Kennels, don't be crashing for me now. I promise you. You can watch it later if you have to. Um, be safe on that road, man. Um, uh... Kathy Davis says, evening, Tony, welcome back. Sorry about your dog. Take all the time you need. Me and some friends just had this conversation, life and all that comes with it. It's a lot going on. Glad you're back. Thank you very much, Kathy. Kathy is one of my biggest videos always here too as well. I definitely appreciate you, Kathy, as well, and your positive input. Thank you very much. Everyone, please don't forget to like the, don't forget the like button. Thank you very much, you guys. You guys are in here. Hit that like button. Hit that hit that subscribe button the like button give it a thumbs up man please do that it really means a lot to me i appreciate it um uh i was happy uh, i was happy i caught a live video now i'm sad now i'm be sad man um we're gonna be we're, we're gonna uplift everything man even in i like to remember people in their positive ways people who've gone things that we have um it's a grateful memory of things. So be positive about things, man. I try to be on the positive side of things, even in situations that are, make you feel down, but try to see the positive in things and memories and everything else. So this isn't a sad moment. We're gonna uplift the memory of that video. I'm gonna put that video back out and let people see it. And with him and just some great, I'm gonna put some positive vibes out here for everybody, man, to keep, to keep it going that way. Um, your extended family, <laughs> while I was watching that live, sorry, yeah. No problem. Nice as nice as much as gas costs these days. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time with us, Tony. You're an amazing man. You're humble and compassionate. 
got me over here crying. Thank you for being you. I'm um, sure your family's proud of you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you very, very much. And it really means a lot to you guys, man. It really means a lot to me from you guys to support you guys' show. You guys will understand how much your positive comments and stuff does for me. I, would, I don't know. It's just like a negative comment will never penetrate me. But these positive comments is so uplifting. Even when you guys write in comments and I don't comment all the time back. Sometimes I just read it and I get so joyful because I feel like I want to leave a positive footprint for you guys. And I hope that my positivity share, shines into your lifestyle, to whatever you're doing. Um, and just doing that, man. Uh, so, but nonetheless, um, nonetheless, I am, I'm not going to be here before you guys long. It's already been an hour. So I said I was going to keep doing a long, long videos. But we're going to do a tour right quick of all the dolls right quick before I go show you guys some of the dogs. Because you got tired of seeing my face, I know. Oh, shoot. Almost fell. If I would have fell, oh my God, I would have deleted this video so fast. So I think it's still daylight outside. So you guys know. Guys, let me know below. Do you think I should? This here, so you guys can see. I'll show you guys. That's how it looks. Yeah, I know it's, uh, it's my baby. It's dirty. I know someone's gonna say something smart about my car. So all my cars are built by me. Yes, it has an LS engine, Corvette motor, all that kind of good stuff in there. But anyway, if you guys want to see more cars, let me know. If not, keep it to dogs and cows and ranch stuff. Let me know as well. We can do that as well. You guys don't ever mock me for doing that. I know. Um, my babies, my babies. So let you guys see the babies before we go. Now there is a dog in here that you guys haven't seen yet. I'm gonna show it to you guys. His name is Justice. He's my male. He's one of my males. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to cut my light on right quick. Hold on. Cut my lights on. And I got to flex my light. Hit my light switch right quick. Bam! Look at that light switch. Let there be light. Bam. 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 Hold up. Bam. 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 On. Off. On. Off. On, on. Okay. It's done. Let me be a kid for a second, you guys. Don't be judging me. Yeah, I want to be a kid. So. Move it. Move it. Uh, show you guys. The jealousy. I'm talking about jealous. Move. They are jealous. I'm sorry. I'll do a better video next time. But they get a little jealous when you start doing uh, the dogs and all that kind of stuff and getting all excited. So I said I wasn't going to do it, but since you guys are here rocking with your boy this long, I'm going to go through all the dogs so you guys can see. Yes, we may have some kennels that might need to be pressure washed right quick. But we're gonna pressure wash again tonight. So, so we got Ali. We got little Scarlet over there. 
So these two, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you guys who's what puppies from what or whatever, okay? That's two females, don't worry, they're not trying to breed. That's two females, okay? That's two females as well, too. These are sisters, these are sisters, those are sisters, all right? Um, so these here are um, Hulk's babies here, Hulk's daughters. I'm sorry, yeah, these are, i am got y'all all screwed up. These are Hulk daughters here in front of me. Then you got Sting puppies over there. And then you got Barack babies over there. Daughters. And they're all about the same age. And she's an import. I'll show you guys. She's imported from Russia. These are the two sisters. These are Kong sisters. So you guys know Kong. These are the two sisters of Kong. Corvette and Chevelle. But you see those. And then you got the two sisters. These aren't the two sisters. This is they're not even the mama. This is Khaleesi's daughter here. All right. This one here is Venus. This is Venus. Serena, Jesse has Venus. Jesse has Serena, sorry. Jesse's in Dallas. And Serena will be coming back here soon as well, too. So you have that. Um, shout out to Jesse. Doing a good job with that there. That's La Bamba. That's Khaleesi here. Khaleesi, that's her daughter. Let's do there. That's Tank Tank. You guys see Tank. That's Barack. All right. I'm sorry. I think I said La Bamba. That's Lilet. Sorry. Lilet. That's La Bamba. They look so much. They are sisters. Lilet and La Bamba are sisters, so they look just alike. But I know the difference between the two. And you got Michelle, which is an import as well, too. And you got Big Goliath. Goliath. Goliath's 10 months old. Big, big, big old, just monster looking boy. What up, big boy? What's up, big boy? That's 10 months old. Then you got Hulk and you got Zelda. Okay, and you got Michelle. Michelle for Michelle Obama. I have Michelle and got Barack. Michelle, Barack Obama, you get it? Okay, hope you did. Uh, then you got Zelda over here. You got Hulk over here. And then you have Serbia and, excuse me, you have Tessa and you have Serbia. Serbia to your left, Tessa's over there. You got that there. This is Kong. Big old Kong. Kong Kong. Oh, y'all decided to use the bathroom and everything else for this video. So, you guys, listen. I don't hear anybody. Oh, my God. He has a stool in the kennel. It's life. And it gets cleaned every time. These are clean kennels. But, you know, can't stop every dog. It's about the same time. That's it. Okay. Listen. Don't mind me. I am totally tripping right now. You got... Um, you got Serbia. I said Tessa, but I meant to say Florida. My mind. Listen, don't, don't. I'm looking at, cause I'm looking over here while pointing over here. That's Florida. That's Serbia. That's Kong. That's Tessa. That's Sting. That's Lala. Oh, jumpy butt. Then you got Justice, and you got Nala. Yeah. So those are all the dogs that's here. That's not all my dogs. Those are dogs that are here. Okay. So. You guys know me. You guys know. Tell me which dogs that you don't see here that I have if you guys really follow me. There's quite a few of them that's not here right now. I didn't mention. But just to give you guys a heads up, these are some of the dogs. And I'm very blessed. Like I said, look around, man. I get up in the morning time and I prayed for this and I have this every morning. I get to get up. Now, some mornings I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, shut up and deal with this crap. But I love it. 99.9% .9 of the times I am truly happy happy that i have this um point nine um but i am very blessed i'm very happy i'm very excited about what i have um and hope you guys that are here watching this video here to this part here man i appreciate you guys um make sure everybody hits that like button man we have 106 people in here let's get to uh, everybody just hit that like button right quick um show support man really means a lot don't want any cash value from anybody just your just your um electronic support of hitting the thumbs up getting it there i appreciate you guys so um anybody that wants to be a breeder man i truly 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 hope before you decide to be a breeder or anything else give me a call let's do a consult or not even just with me. Consult with somebody that you see that you want to emulate your kennel after. Here's the biggest problem. People will call other people that's not successful. They don't want to emulate behind them. And they give these people all these bad ideas. But then they come to me afterwards with the wrong vision of how to do things. 
I'm going to give you, I won't say wrong, but I will just give you, you don't take advice from someone who's never been successful at a certain craft and ask that person their opinions. Get from someone who you feel is successful. I'm not the only person. Some people may do it for free or whatever. I charge $100 for 30 minutes. If you want consult for anything, anything you want to do, um, give you the full details, no bar holes. Um, it gives you every single thing, man. Everybody that has done it has said, I love it. I would pay again. I've had some people, matter of fact, I've got, I think I've got at least two people, two, no, I got at least, I must say two, at least five, six people that have called twice and did it twice because it's such a good information they've gotten. And they've said, I've saved them thousands and thousands of dollars in doing it a certain way um, as well. So, but for you guys that are here right now, watching this right now, um, I'm appreciative of you guys. And I thank you guys so much for allowing me to show you guys what I have here, man, what I do. I'm thankful for allowing me to join into your home and watching what we have here right now and doing this, man. Just a little boy from Charleston, South Carolina that had a dream of being the biggest the best not take that back i never i never kept being the biggest but being the best rock water breed in the world and here we are this is the best rock wallers in the world right now i don't care i'm your favorite breeder's favorite breeder okay so um but no off for real though um definitely definitely i appreciate you guys support i appreciate you guys rocking with me i appreciate you guys for 17 years of just love and and getting there man um I gotta go do some work, so thank you guys. Hope you guys. Oh, let me answer any questions you guys have. I haven't been on here in a second. Let me answer the questions so quick. Sorry, golly, you guys have been commenting. When I win the lottery, we were buying the house and the dog. <laughs> you already got two dogs from me already, and one on the way coming, man. We got you. Um, Jill, good job. Farrell is one of them. Good job, Jill. See, you know that girl be listening. I like Lala. <laughs> Um, my worker that used to work with me here, uh, that was his favorite dog, Lala, as well, too. He used to give her, like, extra chicken on the side, you know, feeding the dogs all get one chicken. He's give them two chickens. Um, um, Uh-oh, we got some love connections going on there. The real Aaron Collins. Hey, Anisha, the queen. Hey, Aaron Collins. Okay. We're making love connections on Butler Channel Rock Wallace. I don't know if I mean to blast y'all or not. Sorry if I did. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. But anyway, hope you guys are being good. Hope you guys are being blessed. Tyson's. Good job, Matthew. Um, I was at church. <laughs> That's why you had to let him go. Some chickens went missing. <laughs> hey, them jokers always messing with my chickens, man. I got some chickens that uh that did go, but now we got the uh, got some more. We're getting a whole new chicken coop, a whole new chicken things, and all that kind of stuff as well. All right, so my head is always up, you guys. Please understand, my head is up, man. I can't. I refuse to put my head down. I refuse to put my. But I I understand what you guys are saying. But please understand, my head is always up, man. I'm too blessed to be stressed out. You get stressed, but don't be stressed out. That's my biggest thing. So, um, thank you guys, man. Let me see. Um, yeah, it happens, man. I want everybody to understand. Please understand, like, even through losing of a dog or... It was, it was a female, by the way. Um, you know, I lost a female. Um, you know, she, she, she was a big beautiful girl um it was a female that i lost so just letting you guys know but um but yeah like i said it happens man i can't i i can't um i'm not gonna be down about it too much i already been down about it you know but i understand life and i appreciate what she has done for this kennel i appreciate just the love she have given me when i need, need to lay my head on because i watched some videos i made of her man i'm all over her and she's all over me and one of the live videos, I'm calling her name like crazy. Y'all hear Angus in the background? Where's Angus at? Angus is, oh. There goes Angus. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, my bad, Anisha. You know what I mean? I was just joking. You know what I'm saying? Love connection. Y'all just saying, hey, you know, to the queens and the kings out there. You know, I appreciate I just mess with you guys, man. I love you guys. Um, <laughs> so nobody did it the wrong way, all right? It wasn't like that. It was just joking, saying hey to everybody. People say hey to each other all the time because you always see somebody in here at all times. So, uh, hey, man. All that mooing. Angus, you come get Angus. You got, I'll tell you what, I'll give you 40 minutes if you can come get Angus. If you want him, he's yours. No, I'll take that back. You got four minutes. You're going to come in two minutes and get him, he's yours. Charlie, get away from me, Charlie. I'm not playing with you today. Nope, move away. Charlie, I am not playing with you. Move. Move. Don't play. Okay, come on. Come in. See, that's why, we, that's why I don't message you, bro. You that kind of person. Now, when I say this song, did somebody say McDonald's? They used to get mad. Do we smelling on me, bro? What up, Charlie? See, Charlie be acting brand new sometimes, but, you know, this is my biggest dog. When people ask me how, how much a dog weigh, Charlie thinks he's a dog. <laughs> Charlie, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, Charlie. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Corey says, I named him, so put him on the next flight out, Angus, for the... Bruh. <laughs> was it Angus? Uh, yeah, Angus was the name that one. Yeah, it was Angus. Yeah, that, I did. what I just name him? Yeah, Angus. Move. Look at these fools just fighting every time. And no, Corey, no. Your wife cooks too good to be out here trying to give you a cow. Nope. Mm -mm. If your wife couldn't cook, I would have given it to you. But no. Mm -mm. Nope. She would make it all them good food on Facebook and stuff. No, sir. My dog would not end up on somebody. My cow would not end up on, on a plate. You talking about you had a nice steak dinner. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Nope. You know what I mean? Is the heat wave over? I'm not sure. I think it's supposed to rain for the day. And then tomorrow will be back 105 degrees tomorrow. So I don't think it's over. Um, This is Texas. So is it ever really over? It's just extra hot. So when it gets extra hot, it gets extra cold as well too. Um. So no, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's over yet. But I hope it is. I really hope. I need it to be over. Man, because getting up here at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, just to cool pressure, watch some dog kennels is i be tired you know what i'm saying i be's a tired boss i be's a tired but to everybody out there as well too like i said i know i was been gone a long time ago but you guys keep me in here you guys there's a problem while i'm in here i hope it rains Corey, i hope it rains so much that your backyard get flooded that's how much i hate you I'm jealous of you I'm jealous you know y'all know i don't get jealous of people I'm jealous of that guy. That guy is so rich. You guys want somebody to go rob? rob no, I'm just messaging. You, don't do you might not get what you're looking for. You end up getting some hot lady. But anyway, um, that guy is, is an awesome man. Coy is, is, that's a brother of mine, man. We started off as a client and then we're like family. So go check him out. He's got, he has the brother to Goliath. He has Goliath's brother. And the way he take care of that dog, that dog may come back to my house and be bougie. Like, uh, uh I'm not living out here. His dog got personal TV. His dog got everything personal as well. So his dog is the brother to this dog here. Hey, bub. Come on. You guys see it. Um, now you do a good job with him, man. I got to give props to props to do. So you guys, I'm going. I got things to do. I got to go clean up. I got sandals on, and oh God, don't, man, them toes don't look the right, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta do some work on them toes, but I want to say to each and every last one of you guys, really, really appreciate you, I really am so blessed to have you guys a part of my journey, and so blessed for you guys, man, so smash that like button, smash the thumbs up, smash that share when I end this, just share this live video, man, share the link, share it, share it, share it. Um, I can't tell you guys what that's mean. Share it and send me a copy that you shared it, man. It really got some special stuff for some people to do so. Don't do it just because of something. I want you to do it only if it feels right for you and you really want to. That's it. 
um so you guys have a good night hope you guys are matthew wilson you have a good night as well my brother um and everybody else all the dogs say good night <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, don't mind me, and my dogs. We be talking to each other all night and doing th doing crazy dumb things like we always do, you guys, man. So, Southern California, I got got some good weather down there. Shoot. All right. So you guys be good. You got some good news for me, homie. Uh, bird people. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of you guys, Facebook, YouTube names, I don't know who y'all are. So, um, and it's after hours, so uh, hit tomorrow, news for anybody. I got good news. Uh, I'm alive and well, and uh, and we're trying to reach to 100K, so let's get it. Also, I like fitted caps. I got a lot of fitted caps right there. I'm going to mess with you guys. But anyway, you guys be good, man. Love you guys. Be good. Um, Hit that like button. Anisha's the queen says it, man. When the queen says it, we got to do it, right? So smash that like button. Uh, boy, don't call me. Do not call me. No, sir. Don't call me. Don't message me. And I, will, I will recap before I leave. My hours of operation are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Texas time. I do not talk to anyone under the age of 18. If you guys have questions and concerns, do not text me 107 questions at one time. I will get, if you got a lot of questions, call me. I will be more than happy to do so for you guys. If you guys want consult, I'll be more than happy to go over a consult with you guys. If you guys are wanting to know my prices of my dogs, do not question me on a live stream about my prices or how my operation works. Call me if you are serious. Um, in, when inboxing me or texting me or whatever, do not just text me how much. I hate that, I hate that question. Don't just say how much, like, I don't even know who you are, your name, nothing else, hey, how you doing, da, 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 so whatever the case is, let's get that way, because I'm a human being and I love to help people, but I like to help people who help themselves and let's get on the same page and do things the right way, right? So, I can't tell you guys, so, I would close my gate, but they don't go anywhere. So anyway, I got the gate left open. My dolls are good. They get out, they be good. Um, as well. This was my first video. Thanks for being so transparent. God bless. Oh yeah, I shared your video to Paula. Thank you, Paula. Okay, I'm messing up. Um, how do you operation mark? How much for a puppy? <laughs> well, my dogs are a dollar. How my operation works, it just works. Hold up. He still ain't got that. Hold on, man. You know what? The gas station is right there, but they still got their car parked in my yard. You know, I gotta make sure now. You know, I gotta investigate. People that be parking cars in my yard don't know what it is. You know, I offer to get some gas right quick. Gotta be careful. You know, I don't know if it could be a sting operation. Leave some drug car in my yard, but now I'm investing. Somebody just, you guys are watching, you know, there's somebody there. <laughs> nine to five. My hours operation are from nine to five. Y'all, if anybody watches uh, Five Heartbeats, you understand that. <laughs> oh, all the way from Ghana. Man, I love you guys, man. Watching all the way from the motherland and all places from all over. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys tuning in. This is my front yard. So to the people who have said, I don't have enough yardage, who've never watched my videos, this is, this is my front yard, okay? This is the front yard. Yes, I'm showing it off because I'm blessed and I'm happy that you guys are here with me right now. And I normally will never show my, you, I've never shown my front yard like this, except for the introduction to my video. You see it flying over like that and going there. So, um, but so anybody see this car, truck, or whatever, y'all know just a truck, you know, just for purposes. Oh, I'm not going to go up to the truck because I don't need, need to know, but it's on the side. It's good. Um, 
<laughs> Checking the trunk. <laughs> I will send you hundred dollars. I will go pick them up and then send my go back up with hundred puppies. <laughs> Always love your videos. It's been a minute since you've been live. <laughs> it has been. Yes, sir. You are truly blessed. Yes, yes, yes. But you know what I'm really blessed for? Let me let me I gotta turn this back around and show you guys. Blessing isn't about the material material stuff. I'm not listen, it is very nice to have a nice house shop and all that stuff it costs a lot of money to do that and i'm not gonna lie but those aren't the things that determine a person of how much bless bless is the things that you cannot buy it's is i mean when i like i don't i really don't want to go to a whole nother subject but when i tell people man have how bust i really am it's not about the materialistic stuff man i promise you all this can go to day tomorrow you don't know a storm comes people have lost their houses and all that kind of stuff in a matter of a moment um a moment's notice but when you're really blessed, man, it's my kids. You can't buy my kids. It's, it's the joy I get when I wake up in the morning time and I have so much support from you guys that pushes it out, man, that I'm reminded of every single day. Um, my, my whole entire family is just um, so much positivity. Man, if I try to really go around, but I don't want anybody to really think blessings come from materialistic stuff because any given day, you got it one day, and the next day, it's gone down. Oh, they're back. Well, I was gonna go in the trunk for you guys, man, but see, they now the message. <laughs> do you loan your dinosaur out? I absolutely do. You got your gas? I see him put no gas in there now. If you get in that car and just drive off, we got a problem. Oh, maybe they have gas and then. No, 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 no. Hey. Just keep cutting it on. Don't try to start it. Just keep cutting it on and cut it back off. Let it prime up. See, somebody don't listen. Still do the same thing back and forth. No, don't try to start it. You got to do it like six or seven times before. But hey, it ain't my business. That's that's all is. That's all. Uh, but anyway, you guys, let me go and do my thing thing. Coming at you from Okinawa. Okinawa. What? Much love, Pittsburgh, guys, gifts from God, physical, mental, and social. Yes, yes, yes. You guys already know what blessings come from. I don't got to explain to you guys, man. I'm very happy to be here with you guys, and I'm on my little swing that I made for my kids. See, I'm like a big old kid, just sitting here, going around in the circles. <laughs> so, you guys be good. I'm out, man. Thank you very, very much for following you, boys. Um, share this videos with people on your Facebook page and Instagram and all that kind of good stuff. Um, thank you very, very much. I love you guys, man. I'm out.